everyone, this is a weird multi-dimensional puzzle game called uh, Vanishing Point. And it's going to go through a bunch of graphical styles and themes. So I want to click this Home 3DV. Press the launch tool and the gameplay. Here we go. So we have this dialogue, but more importantly, we are doing a 2D and 3D thing. <laughs> There's tons of walls of text, as is usual, but the gameplay itself is simple. I can press left click to switch between 2D and 3D. And I can jump a little bit. Like, this can't seem to jump on, uh, going down, though. And I can't hit the red, because I'll reset. And red will also appear at the sides of my screen, so this is very much like the gameplay of Perspective. Okay. So, it, like, it's also nice that they have, like, this aesthetic of, like, a bedroom and stuff. Um, let's go on to this wall, and I think I want to go here, right? Why does it say go here? Can I click it? Oh no, th those must be freaking tutorial pages. <laughs> Not even the actual game perspective needed that many tutorials. Let me see. Do I go here? Oh no, no there's like a red on the wall. I wanted to get to this wall. I'm not sure if it's easy though. No, to this wall. Okay, now we froze it on the wall. And now I'm hoping that I can grab it like this. That's nice. And now what? I guess I'll try to go here using distance. Oh. <laughs> that that video just showed me that I cheesed that puzzle. Um, but okay, yeah, puzzle can span across rooms. What's that? What's there? Let's go on the bed. I see. So now it's showing empty space. Blocking objects. Alright. So now I have to go... Okay, now the wall is blocking, so I need to go here. Oh. Sorry that that it went so far past that room, but okay, we have a painter here. Huh. I can paint different colors. Can I erase stuff? There must be some clues around here somewhere. Uh, I guess, like, I'm... Uh, the files up here were corrupt, so... I think what I need to do is go to the file explorer. Yeah, lots of these are corrupt still. And there is a lot of lore. Yep. I am going to use my expert ability to summarize to read these. Brent disappeared. Uh, fixed corrupted files. Unknown forces. Okay, and we have a bunch of these which are not saved, but there's like showing file transfer. So yes, lore is happening. And, okay, let's go into the memories folder and click to the next level. Wait, this is not a normal level. Oh, okay, no, we have to... Here we go. We gotta launch the next level. Hmm. Just, just exploring this place, I should probably do that. Wow. Huh. Anything up here? Where would I even go? This place looks really big. Okay, let's... Hmm. We're gonna just pick up some of these files. Well, anyway, let's go to here first. Ah, this is a collect- Oh! Oh, this is- we're gonna have to collect ten of them. Okay, that's awesome. Art to return to the last fragment is like a checkpoint system. Let's go around this. So what? I, I can go up here. This is a place that's mostly lacking in red, so... Um, I still cannot, um, enter... 2D mode if it's blocked, which is shown by the red eye. How do I get to there? It looks a little impossible. I can get around the wall, which is nice. Can I screw myself, screw myself on blue? How did that happen? Looks like this wall is, like, for some reason not really blue, even though it is obviously blue. Hmm. Maybe we need to get there from a higher vantage point, but it's, like, true that I can never get past there. Well, anyway, let's just try to head over here. Switch... I need to get to this wall, huh? Okay. Sorry for doing things in a little bit of a weird order. Um, because I'm not sure where to go. There's a page here. I should go for that one. That's easy. Now, because we're on steps here, this is also a little awkward here. There's the second... Sixth fragment. I... I, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and I, and I do actually see it, though. Ah, there's, that's nice. But why 6 out of 10? Just just why? Gotta, gotta read uh, and keep track of everything. Alright, ne next. Probably should feel strange. Um, 
Now I'm on a pillar. I would like to go over here. I'm not sure if I want to go all the way to the right, though. Okay, next. This is eight. Now, the, the really awkward part is, what if I hit ten? And it's like, you're not supposed to be here. That wall is... Up here. Okay, I need to go to the computer, right? How do I do that? Is the wall... Oh, get further in and then do it. Okay. Oh, nope. 9 out of 10, and here we go. That was really far away. It's not only one more to go. It's this area. Okay. Um. Well, are we, am I supposed to go to this wall? It surely can't be that difficult. Fragment. Okay. What's next? Well, there were some. There were definitely some notes at the bottom. So, how do I do this? I guess I need to walk away so I can get higher jump. Oh, that's corrupted. Yeah, I need to get them all. <laughs> this has gotten really awkward. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just jump cut to get, getting back there. I just get into the lower room just by using this pillar and falling down. That would make things a little faster and prevent me from needing to jump hut. Eh, I can't fit. I think. Eh, I could kind of fit. Okay, next, let's fall down here. So for these, I can't hit the X's. Oh, ow. No, just, just look away so you don't see the X's. And here we go. This is fragment two. Next one, I guess, is pointing to here. Let's just get there. Ow. There we go. Next one is over here. Um, I can get it to the ceiling if I wanted. Which honestly feels a lot better, although platform on these might have been easier. Anyway, onto the pillar now. And I have to... For the, the trash can's an X. Let's go up here. Now this is getting... This is past the window of some sort, but... Hopefully I can just go through because it doesn't matter. Okay. It's 4 out of 10, and the next one is far out. Did we jump into the other wall? Hmm. I, you know, I also like the... Um, not sure if people will get this, but... The game Donut County is also done. I think that's what it's called. That has done the thing of the voice... Uh, the voice clips are uh, actually saying the letters, which I just love that. Um, even though it's very subtle detail. Do we just gotta go to the ceiling again? That must be it, because I don't see another way to make it uh, to get us to fall in there. So I just need to go in here, which means... Probably, like, going in from the left side was easier, but anyway. I can just jump through the window, and... Well, there's a big bunch of blue here, so it'll not be very easy to get... I must probably get into this wall. Whoops. Now that's awkward. Uh, and there's no floor beneath. Why can't I... Wow, that's that's a little curse that I'm just on there. Um, well. Hmm. Okay, jeez, this is... Okay, instead I'm going to use these stairs and jump onto the wall. But don't slide off the wall, that would be very embarrassing. But now get on top of this wall, and we just have access to this now. There we go. Okay. Fragment, 5 out of 10. Now let's get things in order. Yeah, I didn't know you could walk on those either. Okay, and we're back to the the final fragment. There we go. Where is this? There. Ah, uh, okay. Well, hmm. Oh, and the demo. You can't see the file explorer? What a tease. So yeah, that was Vanishing Point. Uh, the game is in current perspective anywhere, which is one of the games in this video that uses basically the same mechanics.
Next thing is a pretty short game called Dimension Tension, which is a game where you switch between the second and first perspectives. So we have this, and we need to get over this gap. I'm going to, what? I guess I'm just going to go click here. And now I'm on top of this. I can probably go on top of the bridge. Okay. It's gonna, this is not what I expected between a 2D and 3D environment, but yeah, I just walked over that using this uh, drone to transport him between the first and second person. Can I go up this? No, it doesn't seem like it works like that. I can fall here though, but it's not really useful. Okay. Now this is technically going up from the 2D perspective. Now what? What if it goes through here? Let me switch, uh, switch again. I can use space. I can't use space to jump in the in the third person perspective, however. Mm. What is that? It looks like a moving platform. Let's switch again. Okay, that those moving platforms are actually crushers from this perspective. <laughs> yep. That was the bridge that we just walked on in the 2D perspective. There's a tramp. Okay, next level, right? Wait. What? Is this the next level? I guess not. Oh no. This is gonna get confused. There's a branching path now. I'm pretty sure I should not fall in that. Let's switch again. And now I'm walking on the wall in the 2D perspective. Button. Alright, let's hit button. And uh, switch perspectives to get back. So this door uh, should open if I hit all the buttons involved. So I just need to get through. Okay. Are these... I'm not sure if uh, switching to 2D perspective is ever useful here, but anyway. Let's get through the door now. And... Ooh, what's this? Let me switch again. Hit the... Ow! Stage complete? Okay. That actually was the end of the game. That was just a demo. Lol. This is a forgotten multi-dimensional puzzle platformer, which uh, involves going between 2D and 3D. Nowadays, when you search perspective puzzle game, you get results like Superliminal and stuff, and the designer of perspective actually did work on Superliminal. So, it starts off in orthographic here, which is a totally real game with a 2019 copyright, so that's fun. And we have like a score, and a lives turn doesn't actually do anything, and yep. So seemingly just go in this normal 2D platformer, and we have this blurred thing over here. And yep, that switches our perspective. So there we go. <laughs> so yeah, we have this. And we get kicked into orth orthographic. We left click to change our view from this 2D platformer into moving the 3D environment. So here we go. Now I always love to like try to explore this even though like we have uh, this which doesn't really seem to do anything and uh, a door here. But of course, not all that is just environmental stuff. And there's also a border on the side. We will freaking lose if we do that. So let's try not to. And there is like quick saving and respawning, I guess you could say that's what it is. Because when you hit that, it, it teleports you back to a near spot. Anyway, first level is the cube. So we have a cube in the middle and got to stand on it. Although it's standing on it is almost not a real representation of what's going on because it gets stuck to the wall, uh, our character does. So... Zoom in. So, now, I I remember enough that, like, the speedrun strategy isn't even to go in. It's just to stay on here and still be able to press it, so that's fun. I'll explore the environment a little bit more later, but... The artifact you get when Windows decides, like, it wants to disconnect your mouse, but anyway. So, here... Okay, so this you can actually just get right up close to it and be able to do it in one go, or you can just be like me and decide not to for whatever reason. Get past this. Here, um, I just get, hopefully there is, nope, we actually get blocked here. So that's not a good idea. Nope, that will not work. And you know what? No, <laughs> I can't even jump on the ceiling. Let's get closer and do this then. Get to the other wall. Okay, 
love the music in this game too. I used to play it a lot. And this section too, uh, in in the devlog, there was this funny thing where the length of the hallway is actually using a technique of the lights um, getting shorter and shorter, the distance between them. But, but anyway, let's not bother with that. Also, the freaking character looks so giant in proportion uh, when you're far away from it. But anyway, let's go back and finish it up for real. This time you need to get a little bit closer so you can actually fit through this tunnel. Okay. I wonder if- I've always wondered if this, like, referred to a game or anything. Uh, this poster. So anyway, here's the, the next two levels, Isolation Chamber and the Hallway. I'm just gonna not display the cursor and we can get in. So, here we start next to this, which almost reminds me of an elevator or something, but that isn't anything. So, there is a room there that we can't access. The finish is back here. We need to get into this room and then see it from the other side. Here's the next thing. Also, this ladder was another thing. It can't read anything, and of course, it can't actually get through it, but... Anyway, let's head into this section, which I will assume I can access from here. Another window, and there we go. That's blocked somehow. Yeah, that is blocking it. Okay, and there we go. Next is the hallway. There's a big hallway. <laughs> There's a big pillar in the middle, and the other side of it is black. So I should be able to get through, but the jumping is a little big, so I want to do that so there so I don't hit the top of the lava here. And finishes right here. No. Okay, finishes right here. Let's go. Okay. Next is Wallflower. Finishes back there. We're going to need to like go into the center maybe. And well, this is just going around the cube again. Head to the next section. Now this only affects our 2D player, so we can just walk over it completely fine. Let's see what's over here. There is a giant red <laughs> lava section here as well as this. Probably would like to get to the other section like just jumping on the wall like this. And then getting it back like this, and there we go. And that is the first section done. Well, if we can call it that, this is not this is just like the first portion of it. Next level is relativity. Let's appreciate some art. Wallflower. Anyway, relativity. It used to be Manifold Garden's name before it was changed. Okay. Let's head to this section. There is oh! Okay, I see. We have to scale it down by looking closer. There we go. Gotta shrink a lot for this one. Then get back. And now we have to go up so that our jump height is uh, higher. What about this? What's going on here? Uh, okay. There are bits on this pillar. Yep, yep, and I know, I saw there was one uh, here, so probably there was one in the back as well. So we can get up here, and here, and yes, there is more up the stairs, so I don't need that step. I can just go up here and win. Okay. Token deal. <laughs> Very efficient. Uh, use of pizzas. Okay. I think I remember a cursed way to do the last part of Relativity, by the way. So it was like, you do that, stick it to the ceiling. Oh, you can't just land? Well, I'm sure there's some way to do it. Like, get it um, on one of these blank portions. Like this. <laughs> okay, there, okay, just a little bit of, um, a tangent on that. I'm pretty sure that was not efficient. Anyway, next level, uh, this is just called the pillar. Oh, it's seriously blocked from here. Alright. So, here we go. So, the pillar. Oh, well, there's a giant. Oh. Okay, I can just do this and not have to do that kind of, uh, silly strategy. 
just by completely filling the view with the blue. Now here, there's a blank portion of wall that can get me past here. There we go. I'm not sure why this is here. You're kind of blocked anyway if you try to enter from any other angle. Anyway, get onto here and finish on the other side. Nope, nope. Um, I would like to see the other side of this. Maybe I just jump far away. There we go. Well, I look farther away. Then I go to the other side of here so I can use this view, right? Get over the lava as well, and here we go. So yeah, that's the pillar. And, well, let's do this first. The climb. The floor is lava. Nice. Oh, the floor is lava is right here. Okay. Well, that screen doesn't look... Whoa, okay. We just... We enter by falling. <laughs> I did not remember that. Okay. Next, we probably want to land there, right? So, ow. Okay, well, it spawns there, so... Ow. <laughs> why, are you, why are you even allowed to click and die? Okay, gotta be careful about that because, you know, the borders are also lava. Anyway. <laughs> okay, here. And I guess there must be a way, because I can't get anything past that. It must be that there's some way here. Yep. Let's head over and, well, I see lava here. Probably want to jump into this spot, right? And hoping that there is ground. Yes, there is. Well, let's get past the lava pillar over here. What's this lower portion doing? I guess we probably want to make, uh, probably want to set up a jump here as well. That, that's surely just going to, to die. Okay. Nah, well, there's no way. I need to get it back. And that was safe over here. So, where do I teleport? Probably somewhere higher, right? Okay. And we gotta make sure that it does get into the wall. And there we go. Cool. It's in Sky. This is the next one over. Got some stairs over here. All right. So it looks like we're using that falling thing, because I'm going to go into the sea. That's a little too close to the lava, huh? Let's not. We're going to use the falling thing, where we switch to look this way, and then fall over. Which is nice that the ceiling can fall in any direction, uh, depending on where you look. There is blue on the top of there, so I want to get onto this wall so I can see it. So, now we put... No. Uh, why am I moving? What even caused that? Anyway, I'm gonna find some cursed ways to do, uh, to do these games. But anyway, now... Now, now this is annoying because, uh, there's very m many perspectives where there's just a small bit of red. But anyway, we're just gonna go around this and there we go. Next is the climb. Kind of start jittery a little bit. Okay, now we have to get to there. There's a pillar in the middle. Okay, so we look closer and closer so that we're able to jump from higher and higher spots. There we go. And that, did that open the door? Well, it appears that we need to do something else. We also to the back. We didn't even see these at the back. Is there one for every single... Huh. I think there's one for every single level name, which is not something I remember. Uh, oh, what's the graphic is the name of the first level? Wow, okay. And Earth and Sky. They're giving us teasers of uh, places that we haven't seen yet. Not as it seems. Okay. Next level. Power reserves. Um, can we just not? No, because there is the the, the thing uh, on the wall. Okay, let's do it here. Just jump to the other side and hope we can catch it. There we go. Now another thing where we have to go in uh, from from a small angle and also with a 
Uh, also, in this particular view, what we have to make it all the way up to that. To that. I'm not gonna make it. Eh, I can make it here. Okay. I can definitely make it. All right. So what is this for? That would just go back, right? It's the point. Um. Okay, and now I do that to make it over to this wall. I think that's good. Also, there's like a really nice detail that uh, I didn't remember immediately, but now I do. It's that the a drum loop layer comes when you are in 2D mode. And I just love that. I really do. Okay, and what about this? How do you... I guess we have to use this again. There we go. Went to the other side and did that. Okay, and now, green. Green. What's this? Ah, okay. The same trick uses for these lights. Well, let's get into the very, very small finished target. And now this. This is just incredibly cool. This is an amazing atmosphere, and definitely, like, considering this was the hub, it just, like, expands the imagination a lot, but as much as I want to keep the music going, I'm going to go to the first level, the tower, with a new font. Alright, so but this reminds you of the pillar a little bit, but as you go closer and closer and get above here, there is a hole over here that needs to drop. Where's the finish? The finish is back here, right? Where else could this be? Okay. Looks like we're making back here dollar. Okay. Well, let's try to get down there, but we have to deal with the huge red thing, so... Ow! I, I failed to jump there. Let's jump. We're here, so... Basically making you pay attention to the way the blues lock off areas and you can only get through black. Head here. Jump to this platform. Well, what is this? Uh, looks like we want to get through there. Do we need to get close or something? Because, um, I mean, either that or we just fall on the floor, right? Uh, there's stairs here that makes this a little difficult. Or ill-advised. Ow, okay. Hmm. No, wait. We can get up these stairs. <laughs> now this 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 definitely feels like a weird moment, considering um I don't remember walking up stairs in this game. So let's jump a little bit just so we have the ability to access the top of this. Why can't I walk straight upstairs? That is that is concerning. Anyway, let's head to the finish. This probably should not matter what direction I'm in, right? And then make it line up with the floor, right? Okay, this is also the least brown texture in the whole game. Wait, I'm on the floor now. That... this is concerning. I am between floor and... okay. Luckily we got out. And there we go. Next. I really remember these these expanding infinitely. Uh, some memory is not correct. <laughs> okay, next is long jump. Looks like a long jump, all right. Let's head here. And well, there's this over here, so I'll probably do that into whatever room that is. Um, can I even make it there? What is the point? Maybe we'll just try to get onto a wall? Um... No, definitely we want to get to this wall. I just don't know if I can do that. Is this not the wall I want to be on? Maybe I, like, go up very high, and then, like, somehow be able to drop very well? Because I'm still not at the right angle to really be on the wall. I don't feel like there's much else to it. I guess, no, no, we go from here and then jump onto the wall. There we go, there we go, much better. Now I'll probably make it onto this platform, just went from there. Okay. Hey. 
around the corner. Well, now we have an issue of going around here, so do that, and the other walls are trying to break us up. Probably go here and then then into here. And now I can make it over using the out using this. There we go. And into here. Now this is leading me to this wall and here. There is a there's something at the top. Let's look around the corner first. There is nothing here. Can we go around here? I am blocked, but if I was able to hook jump to the other side, that'd be good. Blocking the lava as well. Um, I can block the whole thing and just make it over here. There we go. Just wondered what these were. Anyone know? Anyway. Ooh, I just fell. Not a good idea. Okay, wait, maybe they do extend infinitely. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this really... Ugh. I feel so overwhelmed with this, but in a good way. Anyway, next is the arcade with lots of underscores. Doesn't even have a title, and... Things broke. Everything's broke. We've put it... I, I, it's, I didn't put the Sophia filter on there. Also, this door is... Barry's Magical Escape. Right, well, there's where the, all the arcade cabinets are stored, and yes, seems like the game's going a little bit, a little bit of a poor direction. The cube! Um, the cube! Alright, no, I'm not gonna do that. But that remains on the wall. See, if I had a mic distortion filter, that would fit a little bit more for what's going on here. I can also just access all that. There's the cube, and... Well, yep, the, somehow I feel like subtracting isolation and re just making it chamber makes it less threatening. Anyway, compression artifact. There is now a, um, fire bar here. So we need to time it to get through. So we get through this and... Any issue with doing this the normal way? Not really. This gives me letters plus world four vibes. <laughs> anyway, oh look at this. Ow! That platform is going in and out. Uh, I can just make it onto this platform, right? Yeah. All right. And there we go. Next is population chamber. It's the opposite of isolation chamber. There is... What is that? Is that a moving wall? Can he time it so that it goes over here? Okay, I definitely didn't remember that aspect. Okay, and the, the finish is right there, but... Is that a moving ceiling? Okay, and it also sees this, so I need to jump and then wait until it goes here. Okay. And something in the back moved. Is that all there is? Okay. Omen. Run. Omen. Omen. And what does that say? Bun? What? Anyway. So, we have the climb is still here. Power reserves. Well... Seems like a lot of levels are missing from this, wouldn't you say? Uh, alright. Where the... Wouldn't, I would I would have been so ridiculous if it sent me back a very large distance. But anyway. There's that level. And next one. Ventilation room. What do we have here? Well, I would say your fans aren't spinning at the optimal capacity, but... We also have an indigo color scheme, slash purple. Oh. Need to get higher here. Right? 
so it can get onto the wall? Is that what I want? Um, probably matters what side I go to. Because I can't see it from most angles. That's back into the ceiling. I want to be here so I can see it from down below. Ow! Well, that still worked! There you go. This is a super hexagon reference, pretty sure. Hmm. Well, let's get up here first, into the moving ceiling. So the angle of this means I can only probably go over here. Ow. Wait, open space? Is there any open space here? Oh, I can uh, go into a more innermost portion though. Okay, so we go closer and closer to the center of the circle, is the idea there. Did I fail to do that? Where's the circle center again? <laughs> that is not close to the center. How do I do that? Hmm. Oh, there's, uh, there's something in here. Is that closer? Okay, there we go, I think. Made it in. Ow. What the heck? Alright, we're fixing that error. And, well, okay. Let's pause a little bit. Where are we going? We want to land on this wall, right? Which means not being interrupted by this. Hmm. Or just using that as a way to stand on something temporarily. Something like that. Okay. There we go! And the next one is over here. The machine. What do we have here? This wall? Where's the way? There is some blank wall here, so let's get onto it. Now, we'll send us to the other side of that, but don't I, don't I want to get past the wall? Maybe let's look at over here. This is a way for me to get to the other side of the wall. This I don't remember why these were moving this way, but... Okay, if we can get to the other side of the wall, that'd be nice. And we could, like, get it back from this angle, maybe? That would make some sense. Let's get up here and get catch it. Yeah, there we go. Um... Hmm. Do I want to make it on top of this? Feels like I do. The problem is, like, isn't that completely ruined by the lava here. How do I get it? Well, I can try to get on th this wall, which also happens to have, um... Okay, I'm not really sure why the the back wall of that existed, but anyway, probably cheesed it. <laughs> okay, and that wins this level, and that was the whole game. So yeah, perspective. I think this is, like, probably forgotten but it is a very very nice experience and yeah um oh and uh this is just an infinite loop huh okay well i guess we just gotta exit the game only one option here what the chess battle advance chess battle advance Ch chess battle advance Chess battle advanced! 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 Mm. Okay. Well, that's chess battle advanced for you. <laughs> so, yep. That was the ending, like... The ending will normally show, like, your desktop and whatever, but I have turned it into a chess battle advanced meme. This section at the end is also nice because I didn't get this at the time, but this is representing the 3D version of you getting into the finale, because it was always the 2D version before. <laughs> but anyway, love that ending. Uh, it just sends you back here to the title screen. Anyway, great game.